Meet Rita. She's a sixth grader who lives at home with her mom and dad. Meet her classmate James, who also lives at home with his parents. Rita's dad has a job that lets him work from home, and her mom chooses to stay home as well. They're in the minority because the Bureau of Labor Statistics says in 64% of families with kids, both parents work. Now, James's dad is an essential worker. He takes the overnight shift at a local grocery store and sleeps during the day. His mom also has a job which helps them pay rent and afford health care. These past few months have affected Rita and James very differently. When their school went online in March, Rita was ready. She got an iPad for Christmas and video chats all the time with her friends. Her family's high-speed internet makes it a breeze. According to a Microsoft study, James and his family are like more than 160 million other Americans who do not have access to broadband. Their computer is pretty old and they use dial-up to get online. Video conferencing with his classmates hardly ever worked. Downloading a video? Well, that took forever. Over the summer, Rita's mom read all the research on just how important it is for kids Rita's age to spend time with friends, so she organized plenty of socially distant playdates. James has not been able to see his friends in months. His family lives in an apartment where there's not a lot of room to socially distance, and the nearest park is several miles away, too far for him and his buddies to walk. This fall, James and Rita's school is letting families choose between in-person classes or virtual learning. Rita's parents are worried about her getting sick, so they're going to keep her at home. James's parents are worried too, but with their jobs and no childcare, keeping him at home is not really an option. Rita's parents don't want her to fall behind, so they're going to hire a private tutor. James's parents would love a tutor, but could never afford one. They do want to help James with his homework, but with their work schedules, there's hardly any time. Rita and her family are excited about the upcoming school year and plan to make the most of the situation. James is worried about the fall, and he and his family aren't sure how they're going to make it work.